Welcome back. International model Carmen Carrera is now appearing in some of the world's top fashion magazines. But she is not your average catwalk star. She was born Christopher Roman and she's now out to promote understanding for the transgender community. I spoke to Carmen from New York yesterday. Good morning, Carmen. Well, looking at you, it is just so hard to believe that you were born Christopher. Uh, how old were you when oh, you started no, to I'm embarrassed. identify <laughs> as a woman? Living my life full time, I would say I was uh, in my early 20s. But my whole life, I've, I've always dreamt about it. I, I would go to sleep and I would like just wish and pray to God that the next day I'd be, you know, I'd wake up as a female. And my life would be so much easier. So what was it that uh, finally prompted you to take that step? You know, it, I, I was at a point in my life where I was getting older. I had to, you know, start building a foundation somewhere. I was uh, married. I was happy. It, it was just that point of your, in your life where you decide what's the next step, you know, what's going to make me happy for the rest of my life. So all that positiv positivity came your way, but I'd imagine that they were difficult times. What kind of challenges did you face? Yeah, I tried so hard to function in society as someone that I wasn't. And now it was like I'm fully realized as myself, I can be proud and I can go out there and, you know, show the world what I've been hiding. And that was a little bit difficult because I was already in the public eye and people were so judgmental and, you know, society uh, still sees it as something taboo, you know. So it was hard for me, you know, just being able to release all of that and just say, you know, I'm going to be myself, I'm going to try my hardest, I'm going to be genuine and, you know, just be open. And I'd imagine that, that there were a few uh, different procedures that you had to have. What kind of things did you go through to become a woman? Well, honestly, the most difficult was the hormone replacement therapy, um, you know, because you have to feminize what has already become masculine and you have to do that with medication. You can do it with surgery, but I kind of wanted, I, I still liked the way that I looked, you know, and I just felt that maybe just certain things I wanted to fix. But as far as surgery goes, um, I only, I just got my nose, I had a little bump on my nose and then I got my breasts done, and that's really it. Everything else was just hormone replacement therapy. We're, we're having a look at some of your work. Um, wow, you must enjoy the glamour. You bring such a star of quality course. to what you do. Thank you, yeah, I mean, it's, it's my work, you know, and, and I'm, I'm an artist besides, you know, being a model or a public figure. I've done, you know, worked for makeup companies. I've studied photography in college. So for me, that whole, the whole artistic side of, the entertainment industry is what really, I guess, helped molded my character. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I love it. I know what it looks like. I know what the camera looks like. I know what the lighting looks like. I know what makeup's supposed to look like. And it gets me so excited as an artist, and I get to express that through my work, you know? What kind of discrimination and, and angry reactions have you had? Because I'd imagine a lot of people would be threatened oh, when they find out you're transgender. Well, yeah, I mean, honestly, I try to just be as genuine as I can. If I meet you, you don't know me, I just say, hey, I'm Carmen, nice to meet you, you know, just as a person, person to person. But once people start finding out you're, you know, more detailed about your life, of course, they want to say, oh, that you're acting or, you know, you're just wanting to fool people. They, they want to sensationalize something that's not, you know, for me, it's not something sensational. Are there any things that you it's don't like nice. about being a woman? Um... Honestly, I don't like the attention that you get from men because it's a little invasive. You know, what do you do when you're in a situation where someone's flirting with you and it's kind of like, what, what do you say? Like, you tell them your whole life story. I think my, if it wasn't for my family, I wouldn't be such a strong person. Um, super supportive and um, really open-minded, you know, and, and I think I have, besides love, I have respect for my family and I think that that means more than anything. Well, well said. We will leave it there. Thank you very much for coming on our okay. show. Thank you, guys. Take care. Bye. I'll see you out there soon. I'm going to come visit. Bye.